Out of the system. Digital man in ready mode. ROT trend for system launch ready. Delta tank. The terrorists have control of the launch codes for 250 missile silos and they're threatening to launch if their demands aren't met by 0300 hours. Do we have confirmation on the demands? Transmitting now, your screen. Two billion in the following currencies transferred to various numbered, numbered accounts. These guys are cocky. Sir, the Joint Chiefs are on the line. Yeah, go for Captain West. Sir, we've just received the demands. Sir, somehow they must have gotten control of the missile launch codes. The D-1 system is operational. Send them the packet. Sir, I'm sending you all available data on the D-1 unit. There's no time for prototype yet. Yes, sir, I realize there's no time for you to properly evaluate it, but the bottom line is we only have a few more minutes to implement it before we lose this window of opportunity. Yes, sir, the unit's in launch ready mode. All I need is a go order. Yes, sir. Activate D1 launch sequence. Yes, sir. Go into tactical. Satellite will be in range in 12 minutes. Delta the Tango 100. on chopper, 29 minutes, 47 seconds. Take care of the hostages. Tracking radar. That's impossible. Nobody could have tracked us this soon. We jammed everything from the plane. We're at least two hours ahead of anything they could have put in the air. A 
it's not radar. It's an electrical storm. Hey, you're right. My screen's clear. <sighs> was that? I don't know. Get me a comm line to Delta Base. Scramble transmission echo Tango 9 or 0. Transmission scramble. This is Delta Team to Delta Base. Do you have any information on countermeasures? <laughs> Negative, negative. They're 20 minutes away. Two minutes till we transmit the launch codes. Hey, hey, hey! Devin, what do you got? Whatever it used to be. Impacted 1.5 clicks north northeast. What do you mean used to be? It hit the ground at 250 knots. Nothing could survive an impact like that. All right. Once we get the codes transmitted, no one will dare attack us. I've got it. Satellite in range. I'm sending the codes 15 seconds. Is a field to control the world. Not bad. Except I gotta take a leak. <laughs> Transmitting now. Data secured. Security procedure. Evac to secure station. Let's go, 
Vac U-36, we've acquired the D-1 unit and are now preparing for pickup. Nice job, Lieutenant. Well done. Congratulations, Fredericks. Stand up! At ease. I'm surprised, Lieutenant, that you would use an experimental unit in a crisis situation. Sir, I was a duty officer when the crisis took place. Joint Chiefs authorized an immediate countermeasure. A countermeasure is to take missiles offline. This is a counter-terrorist attack. I would say you misled the Joint Chiefs. Sir, I would respectfully disagree. The Joint Chiefs were fully briefed. I was confident a D-1 unit could take out the terrorist team. You sent a D-1 unit on a counter-terrorist attack? That unit's strictly in development. Any screw-up now costs us the entire program. I realize that, Doctor. But the D-1 took out the terrorists. It was a gamble, sir, but it worked. That's a moot point now, West. Evac U-36 is en route. We'll evaluate the situation when they return. I want you to start downloading the data. Dawkins? Dawkins, you all right? I'm fine. Altitude? We're 10,000. Autopilot engaged. Good. Are you out of your goddamn mind? New course. Switch the autopilot to the beacon at 15.33 megahertz, altitude 100 feet. Do it! Warning, evac transponder has left screen. Infrared tracking is negative. All radar scans are now showing zero contact. Tracking's down. Sir, the evac is dropped from the screen. What? Check for computer malfunction. Diagnostics read 100%. The evac is gone. Shit. Sir, we have a problem. The evac's gone off course. No, you have the problem. That D-1 unit aboard that ship has the launch codes for 250 nuclear missiles. Now, I don't want to rain on your parade, Captain, but you're going to find it. Yes, sir. Get Nellis on the line. Have him do an area scan. Find that son of a bitch. Dawkins, you don't know what the hell you're doing. Activated. 
Fire on my command. The settings for full power. You set? Right. Fire. <laughs> yeah, see? Nice shooting. Yeah. Mm. What's your problem, Anders? Hey, Linda. What's your problem? You want me? Got it. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Got me, baby. Got it. Huh? Gentlemen. Sorry. Good job. Well done. We're being targeted again. Coordinates. I got static. Something's jamming me. Saturation fire. Sector 7. you quit. Haven't lit one in a year. All right, listen up. Let's head down to the simulation room. Come on, let's go. We'll catch you next time. My real problem is the D1 unit has no implanted controls. If it survived the crash, it's working entirely on its own. And its primary mission is to contact mission control. Nothing can stop that except complete shutdown. What about the crash? Well, the sabotage unit was programmed to bring the ship down in a secluded area near the Badwater test range. Badwater. Dust ball with a bunch of whiny civilians. Spent a god awful month there when they shut the base down. There was this one pain in the ass woman. Now, my plan is to send in a small team, take out the D1 unit, and not cause any attention. Is this the team? Yeah, it's a mixed unit, cyborgs and humans. It's the only operational team on the base. Cyborgs and humans? Come on, Parker. It sounds like an accident looking for a place to happen. Goddamn cyborgs have never been reliable. General, this is the best I can do. We don't even know if the D1 survived the landing. And what if it did? You think a team of cyborgs are gonna take it offline? That D1 is a fully integrated battle unit. Now look, this A2 team are some tough sons of bitches, all right? With some concentrated firepower and explosives, they will take it offline. You think so, Parker? With all your years of combat experience? Look, General. 
if the D1 unit survived the crash, I've sealed off the valley. I have E3s flooding the area with electromagnetic pulse. Nobody is going to be able to sneeze or make a phone call or start a car for a hundred square miles, all right? Let's see the team. Kicking crap doesn't work. It's not how fancy the kick is. It's where you kick them. Do you remember your last squad? Of course. Where were you stationed? Poor Lewis. Why? I can't even remember my last squad or where I was stationed. Ten hut! At ease. The squad has shown very impressive teamwork. Thank you, sir. Let's get right to the point. 72 hours ago, a terrorist unit took over a ballistic missile base, accessing launch codes for over 250 nuclear missiles. With a single order, they could have launched at will. What was the objective, sir? Blackmail. Two billion in gold, various currencies. They had us locked out. I'm sure you can imagine world opinion. This action became public knowledge. Sir, how is it resolved? That's a problem, Sergeant. It hasn't. One year ago, the Digital Man, or D1, weapon system was brought online. Digital Man is the model of a perfect soldier capable of withstanding injury, programmed to engage a small army and defeat it without emotion or fear of injury. Flesh and blood on the surface, digital hardware underneath enhanced by an external armor. The digital unit took out the terrorists, secured the codes, and for some reason, hijacked an evac ship. It hijacked the ship, sir? Yeah, we've reason to believe that they had a forced landing somewhere in the northern Nevada desert. Bad water test. Bad water? Isn't there some kind of underground nuclear research station there? Well, it's abandoned now. It's just a small town. We can't risk involving civilian agencies on this one. So we've sealed all access in and out of the area. Now, your team is to regain control of the unit, destroy the codes, and take it offline. Take it offline, sir. The D-1 unit has launch codes for 250 missiles. If that unit could gain access to an uplink, it could transmit a launch order. Then we'd all be in the middle of World War III. Tough hombre. How are we supposed to take him out? Concentrated firepower. First, you break his armor. Then, using disruptors, you break down his holographic memory system. Now, I assume your, your team is familiar with this. Yes, Doctor. Is the situation clear? Yes, sir. General. Badwater, sir, what's our cover there? These people are salt of the earth. They know the meaning of national security. You tell them nothing, Sergeant.
Damn it! I knew it! Damn it, Susie, I just paid $2,000 for that goddamn satellite dish. Do you have any idea how many of them disability checks it takes to save up $2,000? What the hell do you think you're doing? I must transmit secure data to control. Your incoming transmission will be cut off while I attempt a blink. Thank you for your assistance. Have a nice day. Huh? I'm assisting you with shit. Now get your goddamn hands off my satellite dish. I must download secure data. I will use force to complete my mission. Please, withdraw your weapon. Withdraw? I say kiss my ass, you son of a bitch. What the hell are you shooting at? But I must ask for your cooperation in transmitting my data. Oh! Shoot him, Sheriff! You gotta kill my trailer! Shoot him! Sheriff, I think you got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Cannon fire in bad water. Post cannon? Come check it out, man. Switching to thermographic. What do you got? Automatic pulse cannon fires confirmed. All right, take us over the town, scan the area. Overhead in 20 seconds. Avac is approaching bad water test area. trying to get a radar lock on us. It's jamming me. I can't get any readings on it. All right, lock forward gun on it. Take it out. The targeting module is down. It must be scrambling the system. All right, all right. Go to manual. Take out the target, Gina. Roger. I got nothing. I got nothing. Got nothing, Gina. Warning. Target lock has been detected. Evasive action is involved. Shit! Get us 
Sergeant, I lost the hydraulics. You did all right. Good. Thanks, Sergeant. Electronic weapons planes must be jammed in the entire area. What's our location? We're about two clicks from Badwater. All right, uh, uh let me topographic in the area. Right, here you go. All right, we're headed back to town, boys and girls. Wait a minute. I got something moving towards us. North, northeast. About 500 what? meters. D1 unit? I don't know, but it's coming fast. Target. North, northwest. 400 meters. It's behind those rocks. Let's move to an open fire position. Move it. Move it. Fire! Right, seeing fire. Where'd it go? Hold it, hold it. I got something else moving towards us. Around that ridge, about 200 meters. All right, let's check it out. Sir, I feel responsible for the present situation. I'd like to help. Well, Captain, you are responsible. And as far as helping, maintaining security seems to be more than enough work for you. I realize that, sir. I'd just like to try and attempt to contact the unit and bring it in on its own. I already tried that, Captain. The unit has completely overridden its programming. But did you try an Alpha C band? Thank you, Captain. That's all. And I want this control room to remain sealed until this situation is resolved. Entrance will be on my authority only. General, if I... Is that clear? Yes, sir. You'll follow me. Negative. So it looks like they need some fall guys. And we've been elected. Afraid you might be right about that, Lieutenant. Lieutenant, I want you to run a system scan. See if there are any transmissions to the D1 unit after EVAC picked it up. Parker said they used a reprocess signal. Let's see what frequencies they have tried. Yes, sir. Who the hell are you? Billy? Billy Bates? Are you injured? No, I don't, I don't think so. Where are you from, Billy Bates? Bad water.
Watch. Ran off and left me behind while Ida was shooting at that thing. You know, I told you not to talk to me like that. Oh, whoa! Knock this uh, shit off. Where is this Ida person, anyhow? Mm -hmm. Huh? She's back over there. At least where she was. It's all clear. All right, let's check it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. you sure? Come on. Come on, move it. Oh. Jesus Christ, what the hell happened here? What the hell do you think she took a direct hit? Mr. Bates, I still need some information from you. How many other townspeople are still alive? I don't know, what, about 10? About all that's left ever since they shut down that research station. You know, I had me a damn good job at the paint shop until all them government cutbacks they had. Mr. Bates, why do you think the D1 unit started firing on you? Oh, I don't know. Just minding my own business watching TV when that damn robot feller. Cyborg. Whatever. Cyborg starts messing with my satellite dish, and when I came out, the damn thing started shooting at me. Your satellite dish? Baby, where the hell are your priorities? He blew up our trailer! Oh, man, this guy's a poster boy for the prevention of inbreeding. White trash. <laughs> Any luck with command in the wire? Nothing. E3's in the mountains, got us cut off. Gina, check your transmitter. There's nothing wrong with it. Listen, genius, why don't you transmit a signal? Yeah, well, who crashed our asses in the middle of the goddamn Like desert? it was her fault, you moron. Give me a break. Fuck it off, will you? The only thing I can do is go to optical transmission and try and bounce the signal off the satellite. What's in the sky? We got a satellite directly overhead in about three hours. All right, hey, here's the deal. We're going to go into town and secure the rest of those civilians. We're going to call on an evac and get them the hell out of there. Let's move. <clears throat> Damn it, Parker. I think the ship's gone down. I got nothing on the screen. Hold on. We'll search for some IDTs. For what? Implanted data transmitters. All the cyborg personnel are implanted. I should be able to isolate their frequency. What if you can't get their signal? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I got them. Well, at least three of them are still moving. Now, how many more? That's another question. Sarge. All right. Get that son of a bitch to wreck my satellite there! I lost him. Well, where the hell is he? I told you I got him. Hey, Billy, why don't you put that stupid pistol away and shut your mouth? Uh, don't you talk to him that way. Talk to this knucklehead any way I feel like. Settle Wait. down. Woo! Come in, Woo. Where is he? He's not moving. Let's go in after him. Come on, move it! Move oh. it! Move it! Clear. Clear. Oh. Oh. Get us to me. He's wounded. 
pipe's been hit. Wound, well, man. You're a cyborg. A cyborg? I'm sorry, Edwards. I let the team down. What are you talking about, Wound? I... I didn't know. He's a robot? You're all a bunch of goddamn robots? Settle down, Mr. Gates. <sighs> Listen, yeah. you moron, why don't you shut your mouth? Yeah, you can't tell me what to do, robot. I'm getting real tired of your mouth. Um, uh, oh, really, honey? They're cyborgs. With real big guns. Would you shut up? Now, we're in an exposed position, and we gotta get the town evacuated with the rest of the civilians. Yeah, I said move. Yeah, well, you can't make us. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do, shoot us? We've got constitutionally guaranteed rights, you know. Yeah, we got rights. Hey, Billy, you know what this is? Uh, I don't know. Robot shit? No, no, it's a neuro disruptor. <laughs> Aren't you crazy? Come on, man, you get up. You're gonna kill him. Come on. Damn robot people think they own the world. No! Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Wait a minute. You're supposed to pull his tags and give them to me. I don't think he meets the standard definition of field casualty to you. You knew about this, didn't you? You're the tech on the squad. You think I knew? What are you talking about? Hey, Gene, I just wonder who else in this team isn't human, that's all. If it were me, would you pull my tags? Move, Corporal. surrender. What? You're all a bunch of yellow rat bastards because Bush wiped all these sons of bitches. I don't expect nothing less from a couple of traitors like you. We're not traitors. They damn near electrocuted Billy to force us to come with them. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh you, you folks are here to get that thing that blew up Billy's trailer. Billy's trailer. That moron don't have two nickels to rub together, let alone no trailer. Why, he's lucky if he can afford to pay attention. Got my truck. Look, remain calm. We're gonna call on an evac and get you people out of here. I tell you, I got property here, and I ain't letting no government goddamn asshole drag me out of here so you can pull your goddamn condemnation bullshit on my land. Look, lady. That's Mildred A. Hodges to you, Sonny. But you can call me Mildred A. Sienna Hodges. Look, Miss Hodges. We're here just to secure your town from a malfunctioning piece of military equipment. That's all. Ha! Malfunctioning? I sure would like to see what you call something when it's really screwed up. This whole thing smells like a big truckload of bullshit to me. Just calm down. Corporal, what do you got on tactical? We're here. I'm not checking anything. At least it's not in range. Unless it's gone down here to the old nuclear test facility. Then it has miles of shielded tunnels I can't read. Right. Linda Jackson, secure the town. Roger. You got anything on the radio yet? Nothing. Yeah, the damn TVs and phones ain't been working either. Not that they ever do around here. We can't get no reception. The goddamn government promises cable TV. That's right. Yeah. How long that satellite's overhead? Half hour. All right. Thank you.
we gained control of the unit. Destroyed the codes. We'll take it offline. Let's go to optical transmission and try and bounce the signal off satellite. that wanted cyborg a guy that we've been teamed up with for over a year turns out to be some kind of cyborg i think you will begin to wonder i mean has it been over a year because i can't remember when he joined the team what difference does it make it makes a difference to listen, me listen jackson give it a rest The man said, oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The thing said he didn't know he was a human. Damn! I am sick of hearing your crazy shit about Woon. He joined the squad 11 months ago, all right? I was there, I remember. There was something crazy about him, Jackson. You don't remember shit about his family. 11 months ago. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Yeah, I'm sure. How could he? I mean, the man was what, part toaster? <laughs> yeah, how could he? No, nah, bump it. Nah, no, I still can't believe they would team us up with a cyborg. I got news for you, Jackson. It's a new army. They let anybody in. You're here, aren't you? Center. A two group to command center. A two group to command center. Do you copy? This is command base. Please input access code. Command center. This is Sergeant Anders, A two group. Patch me through to General Roberts, command control. Priority code follows. Code received and confirmed. All right, Susie. Now you see this? I need you to keep them damn robots away from me till I fix the truck. Okay? Remember how to shoot it? I'll give it back to mine. Roberts here. Anders, report. Sir, we've been shot down by a B-1 unit. We've sustained one casualty. Unknown till now, a cyborg. There's an unknown number of civilian casualties. We request an immediate evac for those remaining. Negative A-2 team. You have to continue with the mission. Copy that, sir. I repeat, we've lost evac and most of our ordinates. There are civilians in the area. We have no other communications beyond this satellite uplink. Sergeant, your orders are to proceed with the mission. You're to take the D1 unit offline. Is that clear? Affirmative. Sir, I'd like to know how many other members of my team are non-human. A2 team, we you to realign the transmission. Signal. It is advised to realign your transmission. Sir, I repeat, what other members of my unit are not human? Sir, we're losing your, your signal. Sir! Satellites moved over the horizon. Damn it. We've lost the carrier. A convenient time to lose a signal, Gina. Maybe say who said to you, Anders. What did you say, Corporal? We got some good news. Running around in the middle of a war zone, and the CO is not letting us call in an evac. Then, one of our squad turns out to be a cyborg. Imagine that. Now, you tell me, Sergeant, that this is standard ops. We have our orders. We got a mission to finish. And for your information, do-rag, I don't give a rat's ass which of you is, human or not. Just do your jobs. 
I got something moving towards us. Come on, let's go. Stay right where you are. Really, get the hell out of that truck. How do you get us started? I thought you said every vehicle here was disabled for magnetic pulse. How should I know? Who knows how to bypass the semiconductors in the starter? <laughs> you try to follow us, I'll blow your ass away. Oh, baby, I love it when you talk like that. Woo! Billy, I'm not screwing around now. Get the hell out of that truck or I'm gonna shoot out those tires. Uh-uh. I ain't listening to no damn robots or cyborgs or whatever the hell you are. Yeah. Come on, darling, we're getting the hell out of Dodge. Woo! If stupidity were a country, he'd be China. And there's the signal. It wasn't the truck I was picking up. There's that son of a bitch that wrecked my satellite dish. <laughs> <laughs> Man plastered on your front grill, tough guy. Grab cover, let's go. Grab oh, cover. Captain West, I think I've got something. What is it? Two signals registered to the terminal. First signal received. The location scrambled, but I should be able to break it. The second signal is broadcast from the terminal right after the evac's pickup. Well, we need to break the code and figure out from where that first signal was transmitted. That may be academic. What do you mean? I found a data transmission from this terminal four days ago, addressed to the missile launch base just before it was overrun. The transmission was a command authorization code. Who's? That might take some time. The ID code was encrypted. Keep working on it. I'll talk to Roberts. Are you sure, sir? What are you thinking, Fredericks? Nothing I should say without proof, sir. I know Roberts' actions have been somewhat out of the ordinary, but he's still the commanding officer on this project, and we're under orders to keep this operation under wraps until it's over. Besides, we can't report to anyone else. It's our necks. I know you're right, sir. Lieutenant? Yes, sir. I want you to be careful. Sir? Just keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Cyborg. Gina, report. Gina, report. I think he came to get our uplink. He was locked onto something in town. He had to be attracted to 
He had to be attracted to our broadcast. Where the hell is he now? It looks like he's heading towards the old nuclear facility. I knew it! I knew it! You're all a bunch of damn cyborgs! Bunch of robots, all of you! Piece of shit. It was your goddamn stunt that got her killed, whatever the hell she was. You have no right to talk to us that way. And just who's gonna pay for Billy's truck? Yeah. Pay for his truck? Yeah, he's still making payments on it, and he don't have insurance. I wanna pay for his goddamn diddle! Right now! Um... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Just settle down, uh, okay? Yeah, uh, you don't have to be so nasty about everything. Come on, Billy. Your trailer. It had an uplink. Of course we had an uplink. How else am I gonna go to correspondence beauty school? When I finish, I'm gonna be a licensed cosmetologist. The D1 unit came here to transmit its launch codes. Yeah. If it does, it's adios muchachos. Gina, what's the layout of that facility? There are two entrances. The main entrance and emergency access up here. I tracked him going into this one. All right, does your file show any kind of communications room? I got it, but I can't tell if it's still operational. All right, listen, I want you to take these two with you, that emergency access entrance, set up a proximity detonator. Jackson and I are going to flush them out from the other end. I want you two back her up on the detonators. When she gives you the signal, you push the button. You think you can handle that? Yeah. What do you think we are, a couple of idiots? Come on, Billy. Let's move. You're right. Let's move. What about Linda? What about her? She was a friend, Anders. Are you going to pull her tags? Oh, don't worry, I'll do it. Hey, Anders. Don't read too much into the fact I never invited you home to meet my parents. I just never thought we were that serious. Radio when you're at the emergency access tunnel. Yes, Sergeant. Who is it? Captain West is requesting access. What is it, Captain? Sir, we've been able to track a number of transmissions to the missile base. We're breaking the encoding right now. Let him in. What are you, out of your mind? Just open the door. Hold on one second. What the hell are you going to do, stun the guy? No, 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 no. This will just disorient him a little bit. Eventually, he'll pass out. Lieutenant Fredericks is requesting an immediate communication. Tell her I'll get back to her in a few minutes. I thought you were instructed to focus your attention on security. It's all right, Doc. What do you got, Captain? Sir, Lieutenant Fredericks and I were able to trace a transmission from this station to the missile launch base four days ago. So what? Well, I would think that a transmission from this base to missile operations 24 hours before the terrorist action might be important. You all right, Captain? Yes, yeah, sir, I'll be fine. Captain, I'll tell you what's important. It's maintaining security in a crisis situation. That's important. Captain, we're all under a lot of stress. Let's take a look at your information. Yes, sir, I'll have uh, Lieutenant Fredericks send up a status report. Fredericks, I'm pleased with your diligence to get to the bottom of the situation. But I have to question your judgment. Judgment, sir? Lieutenant Fredericks doesn't have that kind of clearance for this kind of operation. I want that data transferred over here to Dr. Parker to review. Sir, Fredericks has clearance. She's... That's an order, Captain. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, transfer your uh, files up to the control room at once. Sir, I don't think that's... Just do it! Files are coming through now. Great. Let me know when you have them. Sir, I I'd feel more comfortable if... Security, we're on deck. I mean, we, we don't know whose name's gonna come up. 
You're right, Captain. I'll access uh, special ops. Uh, you have no idea if base has been compromised. Say anything about killing him? Never had a chance. What's the matter with you? Are you out of you... What are you doing now? We have to make it look like a suicide. Suicide? You don't think anybody's gonna think this West is gonna come into the control room and kill himself? You're nuts, man. You are nuts. We were never partners, Doctor. Parker? I think we solved the security problem. I had to put Parker in a position where he had to make a move. Unfortunately, Captain West was caught off guard. Are you sure, sir? Am I sure? Lieutenant, do you have a better assessment of the situation? No, sir. You're a lucky lady, Lieutenant. When West insisted you move the files in here, he may have saved your life. Sir, I think we should bring in a security team. Look, Lieutenant, we don't have a lot of time. I need you to secure an evac. Parker may have sabotaged the mission. Yes, sir, I'll put together an assault team. No, we don't have time for clearances. Just you and a flight team. But, sir, that's... That's an order, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Copy? Roger. All right, we're closing in behind him. Looks like he's headed for the communications room. We're going in the main entrance. Push this button. It's got to be in range or the charge will be useless. You understand? Whoa, 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 hold on. Are you going to push this button when it's in range or when you tell me? I want you to we understand. Okay. The charge is set. Roger. We've reached the main generator room access to it. Still closing on target. Got it. Section 29, Delta Quadrant. How many charges you got? I got one light trigger, concussion detonator. There's a tunnel about 100 meters from here. 
the only access to communications you plant that charge dead center. I'll engage it. Wait, 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 wait. The light detonators are pretty squirrely charged, Sergeant. I'll engage it. So you got the time you need to plan it and do it right. When you're ready, Jackson, I'll disengage, and we'll both sit back and watch this son of a bitch blow himself up. Oh, yeah, way back. You see, I don't want to be anywhere near this place when that detonator goes off. Do you understand, Anders? Explosion will crush everything, man. Including the digital man. Just at the charge. I want you back. It's rock and roll. You know something? What's that? You're a dirty dog, Anders. But I like it. Oh, yeah, I like it. She's gone. Bullshit. Listen, I didn't sign up for no suicide mission, Sergeant. And I know that you and Gina were more than just comrades. Oh, yes, we all knew. But that's not going to change anything now. Right, Sergeant? What do you suggest we do, Jackson? Hmm? Let's just stick with the plan, Sarge. Stick with the plan. All right. You watch your ass, Sarge. You watch yours. Oh, yeah. I lost him. What do you got? Negative. I got shit. I got him, I got him. Jackson, he's moving towards you. Oh, no kidding, Einstein. Jackson, get out of there, man, get out of there. going for you now. Yeah, I can see that, Jackson. I'm tracking him. I got him. What the hell are you going to do, Jaden? Get the hell out of there, man! Run! Run! <sighs> Jackson. 
decoy. Jackson, set your tactical scan. For weight and size analysis, he's got some sort of decoy exploding device. Oh, that's great, Anders. That's great. So how do I keep it dead in there? Well, I don't know, Jackson. How about big son of a bitch? Hey, Anders. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me set the detonator. I really appreciate it, I do. Asshole. Shut up and set the charge. What do you think I'm doing? Second delay. If you run really fast, you can get past it before it blows. 0.5 seconds delay. Yeah, you are out of your mind.
So long, Bill. Once you learn to shoot straight, you son of a bitch, and get it over with. Come on, you bucket of bolts. I'm getting tired. Oh, you're not giving up now, are you? She doesn't work. All right, that's it. I'm really gonna. 
kick your ass. Thought that thing was dead. Recharge sequence complete. Now, this has been a fair fight. You wouldn't have had a chance. you were dead. I guess you were wrong. At least you learned to shoot straight with that thing. What's wrong? The opti targeting always screws in my head. I couldn't shoot straight with one of those things if my life depended on it. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going with the wrong. <laughs> guess not. I am unable to transmit acquired launch code data. Losing operational power. You should have stuck to your original programming. I did. Downloading launch code data. System shut down. <clears throat> the hell did it mean it was sticking to its original programming? It's operational data and launch codes are on this disc. A2 team, DVAC U35. DVAC. It's going to be here in five minutes. Come on. Let's go. Landing in a few seconds. I recommend we call for a backup team to secure the area. I don't advise you proceed out alone. Thank you, Captain. Go ahead and call that in. Roger. Command, this is Evac U35. Please be advised that Badwater area is not secured. Request additional backup ASAP. Roger, U35. Please be advised that backup is en route. ETA 40 minutes. Roger. The D1 unit. It was following its program. What are you talking about? It didn't malfunction. During its mission on board the evac, someone tried to download its data and take it offline. The pilot just tried to stop it and activate the security program. On the evac? Now, who would have done that? <laughs> Maybe why is a better question. All right, why? Hey, all right, transportation. Anders. Evac U-35, we are showing you in the landing cycle. Please advise when bad water area is secure. Forty minutes is a long time to be on the ground in an unsecured area. Sure is. Drop your weapon. And we have a very serious security situation here, Lieutenant. And I'm going to need your assistance to rectify it. My assistance? Don't worry, Lieutenant. I'm not going to kill you. In fact, at this point, you're the only one I can trust. Our entire base has been compromised. Pick up the comp phone. Pick it up, Lieutenant. Now transmit Alpha Zero Seven Nine. Do it, Lieutenant. Everything's gonna be fine. Right? Now, when I tell you transmit, that the ship is under fire and we're down.
The ship is under fire. We're down. Evac U-35. Please advise on nature of attack. Repeat, U-35. Please advise. Please respond, U-35. We're under heavy small arms fire. Attacker closing in. Send an immediate evac. Backup is on route. Repeat, backup You're a good is kid, Fredericks. Corporal, have you secured the data? Uh, yes, General. Did a good job, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Chief! Drop your weapons. Drop your weapons. What the hell's going on, General? The disruptors, too. You finished off the D1 unit with it? Yes, I did, sir. The thing damn near gave me hallucinations. Look, General, what? So I guess you two are the human element of the team. I never thought the cyborgs were worth a damn. The most important thing now is stopping the security leak. What security leak, sir? The launch codes. Or you. Only one is coming back. Now guess what? The codes. Give me the disc. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Mildred Hodges. Live like a rat, die like a rat. How about that second shot? That first shot would have got him. Oh, I don't be a pussy boy. You know, I could kind of go for a beer about now. How about you? Works for me. <laughs> uh, keep him cool, will you? They mount better that way. The launch codes had Robert's access key on. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Gina, you know, look, I'm... I'm sorry about what I said earlier, you know, back there, about you not being human. You know, you're not... I'm sorry for saying that you're not real, because... Small cogs and a much bigger machine, don't you think? Would you get your hands off me? But I do think that they all... Are... 